All right, hello everyone and welcome to this brand new tutorial series where we're gonna go through Conan Exiles modding through the dev kit uh, for beginners. This tutorial is um, going to be very easy going. Um, I'm gonna try to explain as easy as possible um, for the new, uh, new modders out there. Basically, when I watch other modding tutorials, I feel that it is not as friendly towards um, beginners. And so I decided to make this um, modding video series. Um, for this first episode, uh, it's the most important episode because here we're going to go through some settings that is uh, vital to go through in order to make a working mod uh, so that you don't need to spend a lot of hours and then you try to test out the mod and it doesn't work. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go through the very base settings, which is important to make right. Um, so be sure that you watch all of this video, the first video. And also don't forget to like, comment, your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel um, if you want me to continue doing these types of videos. Now let's go into the video. The first thing we're gonna do is to open up the Conan Exiles dev kit. Now uh, it's free to download. Uh, you go into the Epic Store um, software and you download it from there for free. Um, I'm not gonna go through how you uh, download the program itself. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Um, but once you have it downloaded, you just open it up and uh, it's gonna take some time to load because it's a huge software with a lot of lot of files. So give it time, um, go get some food or whatever, uh, because it's gonna take time. So we're gonna to skip towards when the software is fully loaded. Okay, so um, once that is done, the software is fully loaded. Uh, you will see something like this. It might be a little bit different because I've been working on uh, the dev kit and fix it uh, accordingly to what suits me. But uh, something like this, yeah. And um, basically on the bottom here you see um, every file. Uh, you can sort it out using these different um, shortcuts here. Uh, click on the filter right here if you want to uh, add or remove uh, any shortcut. Um, and for example, if you want uh, you see the sound cue, you click on that and it will sort out for you here uh, and whatever. On the left side, you see all the folders. These two things is very vital to have because you're gonna work a lot with it. Um, and on the top here, you see the main uh, screen of the game where you can test the game and play it and so on. We're gonna go through everything else uh, as we go on. Um, but the first thing you want to do is to, because this is my uh, previous mod that I've been working on, you want to click on this uh, arrow right here, this small arrow, uh, get it up and click create a new mod. And you're going to name the mod. In our case, we're going to have it called uh, tutorial mod one. Uh, and then click on switch to a new mod after creating it. Uh, create. Now this is gonna restart the software and it will take one more time, uh, a little bit time, but this time it's gonna go much faster. So um, have some patience and uh, we will talk when the software is fully loaded. Okay, so now it's fully loaded and I'm just gonna go through the most important step that we're gonna start with. We're gonna go to this left side where you have all the folders and you're gonna find the mods folder right here. Now if you click on it, you will see that your uh, mod folder have shown up right here. And this is the most important folder because right here you will see all your custom files that you uh, import in order to edit the game. So we're gonna open this up and it's completely empty right here. But we're gonna start filling it up by inserting two um, things and those things are the most important things to do. So do not skip this part because otherwise 
the mod will get broken. So you right click anywhere on this uh, place right here and you will get this uh, up. Uh, click on the blueprint class, the blueprint class right here. And you will get this um, uh, thing right here. Don't get scared about uh, if it looks too complicated. We will um, understand it soon enough. But for now, you click on the search button right here, or this search area, and you write in mod controller. Uh, as you do that, you will see that this changes, and you can click on the mod controller right here. Uh, make sure it's uh, yellow uh, around it, and then click select. Uh, now you will see that the uh, mod controller have been placed in your folder. I'm just gonna name it. Uh, you can name it BP mod controller like this. Uh, click anywhere here so to make sure that it has been edited the name, and you will see it uh, have come a star in the left uh, bottom left corner of the file. That star means that the file is not properly uh, properly saved. Uh, so you, to remove the star, uh, you're just going to click on save all right here and then save selected. Uh, and now you see that the star has been removed and the um, mod controller is saved. Um, we're going to click right click right again and click blueprint class. But this time we're going to uh, click on the actor component uh, button right here. So now you see another file has been placed and you're just going to name it BP um, testing actor component like this. Um, and now same thing here, you just click on save all and save selected. So now you have these two files, make sure that you have them, that you don't go through this video without having this and that the icons are the same. Uh, and you can name them whatever you want, but I would recommend you to go with the same names as I did. To start off, you're gonna click on the, uh, or before we do this, we're just gonna create some folders as well in order to sort out our mod. It is very important to have an organization when you start modding, if you're gonna make a, a complicated mod, um, you don't wanna get into the situation where you have files everywhere and don't know where you have it. So I'm gonna sort out all my files. So right click and click new folder, and I'm gonna start with um, icons. And then right click again, new folder, sound. Right click again, new folder, uh, let's go with um, um, religion. Right click, new folder, and what else do we have? We have uh, attributes. So let's go with this for now. Um, we're gonna add more uh, for, yeah, we got one more, of course, uh, the most important one actually, new folder and write in data tables. So we're gonna start with these five folders as well. And um, once that is done, you click on your mod controller, open it up, double click on it, uh, let it load. It takes some time the first time you load it, um, but after you've done it first time, um, then the second time, third time, fourth time, uh, and so on, it will get as fast as it did for me. This is the mod controller. Um, this is how it looks. Uh, don't get afraid of how complicated this might look. Uh, we're just gonna do one quick thing, uh, and then we're gonna go back to the fun part. Um, so. On the right side of this mod controller, you see right here, you're gonna find where it says additional class components. Uh, from here, you click on the plus button uh, on the right side of the additional class component uh, so that this open up. And from here, you're gonna uh, click on this uh, where it says target actor class uh, and click on this where it says no and you're gonna search player, base player char character. So um, click on this. Once you have the base player char here, you're gonna go down to the component to add, and you're gonna click this, and you're gonna search for the um, 
uh, let's see what was it uh, we just created it actually yeah the BP oops the BP testing so the one we created right here the BP testing actor component uh, depending on which name you you gave it um, you're gonna search for that but in our case we we made this uh, BP testing actor component so that's what we're gonna search for BP testing actor component like this uh, and for the rest you don't need to care about that right now we just after you done do these two uh, parts we're gonna click on a compile right here to the in the top left compile make sure that it becomes a green uh, sign like this and then click on save so that's it for the first part now what we're gonna do now is to go to the more fun part um, the dev kit is like everything you want to change in in uh, when it comes to information and and items and and um, like base stuff uh, in Conan Exiles is divided into data tables. So we made a data table folder right here, and we're gonna add some files to that. And in in order to edit uh, some fun stuff, so. The most um, common thing that player comes to edit is the items in the game. Um, so, um, for example, um, when it comes to wood, stone, um, armor, weapons, uh, and uh, uh, changing the names and changing the icons and changing the, the um, description of them, how do you do that? So that's the first thing we're going to figure out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go in, you see the, the the path right here. So you have content, which is the main path of all. Um, you got mods and then our mod folder. We're gonna go back to the content, the first ever folder. This is all the files now. And from the content, you can click on this data table. As I said before, if you don't have a data table right here, uh, you can just click here and then this button right here and then data table, make sure it's um, uh, chosen right there now click on data table and you will see all the data tables in the game will be loaded up for you now here you can find whatever you want to change but to make it easy it's a lot of files to make it easy we're just gonna search for item table so you got it right here the item table uh, let's open that up and you see there's a lot of files in here this is all the items in the game now, for example, if I want to change the wood, here we got um, the wood right here. You see the icon right here, the name, the description. But this is not where I want to edit stuff. If I edit here, uh, if I edit the image right here, if I edit stuff in this original item table, things might get messy once Funcom uh, updates Conan Exiles. Um, so. It might be so that your mod eventually gets broken, doesn't work because the update comes out and uh, it just doesn't work. So in order to edit this stuff and make sure that it works in future updates, what you wanna do is we're gonna have the item table open for now, but we're gonna go back to, uh, let's just switch off the data table and remove item table from the text here. And we're gonna go back to our mod folder right here in the left and open up the tutorial mod. Go to the data table folder that we created. And here we're gonna create a new data table. So right click, click on this button right here and go to data table. Now you will see it will come a pick structure menu for you. Click on this and you see there's a lot of structures right here but they just uh, implemented a new search thing for this pick structure structure which is very handy click on that and write in item table or item and you can see item table row that's what comes up there and then click on okay so you got a new data table we're going to name it um, roc item table now ROC in my case case is my mod. That's what my mod's name is. 
So name it like the shortcut, short name of your mod and then item table. And then click on save. You see the, the star right here. We're going to click on save all. Now, if we open up this, you will see it open up right here and we got the item table. Uh, we also got another bar right here with the original item table. So we got the item table right here. We got the ROC item table right here. Let's just split them up so that we see two different uh, windows right here. Um, like that. And you can see that the one uh, original one is full of uh, things and the R1 is pretty empty. Um, in order to recognize if you got the right structure you can just check on these uh, short names right here like in this case it's name short desk uh, long desk uh, icon icon layers item class and so on and you can just see if they is the same right here you got the name that's the right one you got the short desk long desk icon and so on it's all the same so this is the right structure if you open up another structure you will see that these names right here uh, doesn't match up with the original one uh, because you picked the wrong structure so make sure you got the right structure by checking out these names uh, on the original table uh, and then we are ready to go so uh, we want to click on any uh, line right here and then we're going to click Control a to mark everything and then we're going to right click and click copy rows now we're going to go to our new um, data table, our own one, and right click and click paste rows. Now it will take some time because a lot of rows that you are copying and pasting. But once it's done, you will see that you got all the rows in the new one. So we're going to close down the original item table and you're just going to work with the new one. Um, so now you can, uh, from this new item table, you can change whatever you want. Uh, let's start by changing the wood, for example. So we want to, uh, uh, in my case, the mod is a Kurdish mod. So we want to click on this wood right here. And we're going to write in Kurdish wood. Uh, we can change the description. So, uh, um, wood from a Kurdish tree for example and right here we're gonna write in just Kurdish wood from Kurdish trees simple you can do whatever your your fantasy provides you in the future and you know write more or less or nothing at all uh, or don't change anything at all if you want that um, so that's what well, the three things we want to change right here in uh, the wood thing. Uh, so make sure you click enter so that it changes in here as well. And then you click file and save. Let's try this out. But before we go and actually try the game and see if it, if it has changed, uh, right now it won't work because we have missed one step and I'm going to show you what that is. It's an important step and you need to do that every time you mess with a new data table. Um, so in the future, when you change future lines, you don't need to do that again. But when you mess with a whole new data table, you're going to do this step over again. So I will show you that step. You're going to go back to the content, um, to the mod folder open it up and you're going to open up the mod controller. Now, uh, you will see right here uh, that you are in uh, the mod controller. Now in the left side, you're going to click uh, on this right here, mod data table operations. Ah, yeah, double click on it. Sorry. You're going to double click on mod data table operations and you will get to this screen right here. Find this part where it says mod data table operations, this purple part. And from here, you're going to uh, right click anywhere on the screen and you will see this menu pop up. Click on merge data tables and this will show up. Now you can uh, change where you want it to be placed, uh, but we're just going to place it right here on the top. 
And from here, I want to click on this button and just drag it to the start of this button right here. So to make sure that it is connected, you can drag this and see that it is properly, properly connected. Now, what you want to do is click on where it says merge into data tables. You click on select asset and you uh, in the search asset, you write in the original data table. So in our case, it's item table. You see there we got the item table. And in the second one where it says to be added data table, you click on select asset and you write in the custom made one ROC item table right there. Now, what this means is that uh, when the game is run, the ROC item table, our own custom table, will be replacing the original item table. Now, we're going to click on compile and save. Make sure that you do this compile and save and make sure that it is connected and that you have the original table on this second line and the ROC item table on the third line. Once it's compiled and saved, you click down this button and save the star, save all. And now we are ready to test the game. So let's just click on file, open level, click on Conan sandbox, let it load. And once it's loaded, you will see that this screen right here will, will change. You see a lot of stuff right here. It looks very complicated, but uh, we don't need to think about that right now. We're just going to click on the play button right here. And once again, it's going to take some time. Have some patience. So once you have loaded the game, you will see um, you will start uh, in your uh, own place in the game. I don't know where exactly that be, but that doesn't matter. We are here in this area. Um, so let's just open up the menu and we can see we already got some wood but just for the sake uh, of testing we're gonna get our um, hatchet right here and let's just chop some wood from this and you will see it says Kurdish wood uh, so it works let's just open up and see the Kurdish wood right here is also changed and when you click on it it says wood from a Kurdish tree and you can click on info and it says Kurdish wood from Kurdish trees. So it definitely works. Click on escape to get out. And now you can see that it works. And that's it for the first um, tutorial of the dev kit. Make sure you like this video. You comment your opinion down below. Do I ha have I missed anything? Is it something you want to see? Is it something that doesn't work for you? Let me know. I will read all the questions, all the information that you provide me and all the issues. And I will try to help as much as I can. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and don't miss out the second video that will be um, on this channel and the rest of the series as well. We will go through everything in a very simple way.